you also have a seal kit that's available that replaces all of the plastic parts and the O-rings. What we do is after a, a year's worth of work and so on, this kit is very inexpensive. So if you need the seal kit because of leaks, once you buy this whole kit, there's no sense messing around. We might as well replace the plastic parts at the same time. It's just more efficient and the cost is so low, there's no sense just uh, replacing the O-rings and nothing else. Each one of these collars that are located inside the kit fit the uh, different size tubing. The base tubing is larger than in the telescoping wand. So you'll see that the hole on the center of these collars are different sizes. Fairly ex uh, self-explanatory of where they belong once you take the wand apart. So ensure the collars are on the right tubing of the wands. I'll show you the size difference in the tubing. Okay, so this clearly shows the differences in diameter of the two wand pieces. This is the telescoping portion. This is the outer portion of the wand that I'm moving here currently right now. And this is the larger base. So that's the pieces I was mentioning to you about the collars. You have to make sure the right collar goes on the right tubing. When you finally go to put this together, all you do is turn them. And this one inserts into the other. And then you pull the two together bring the pieces back up like so and then thread your whole assembly together and that'll complete your wand installation.